already we have installed the compact HMI and as you see when we have logged out we have a few more users defined but now we will log in as uh, the app eng user to set up IP address and setting up the IP address we will be using the serial cable to uh, know which IP address to use you can either set address according to your normal scheme for our IP addresses but you can also use the one that we have suggested in the manual so to um, see what we have suggested you also open up the user manual of compact HMI and you make a search for IP just go to the chapter in the manual where the IP addresses are proposed Here we can see that for AC800M we have an uh, we, we propose that you use IP addresses 172.16.4.151 to 2.55. To set the address, we open up the tool that is called IP config. So we go into utilities menu and we open IP config. And now we are ready to connect to the controller. But the controller just connects when you have uh, when you have press the init button to get the cold start. So first we just press the connect button in the IP config tool and then we press the init button here and we hold it in until uh, the run has started to flash. It takes a few seconds and, and uh, we get connected to controller and the IP address, the current IP address is read back into the IP config tool. And then we can set the address and the subnet mask as we would like it to be. It takes a little while because the controller is actually cold starting and that's why it takes some time to, to get the IP address. Now we have the IP address. Before we can set it, we go in and we switch on to the advanced mode. And then we go in and in this case we will set the IP address to 151 and we shouldn't forget the subnet mask that we set to 255, 255, 255, 252 all according to uh, what is suggested in the user's manual. And then we press set IP. We get the question if it's okay to do it and the IP address is updated. We have to restart it again to get the new address working. So we take, we make a new cold start. <coughs> and we can look at the controller. We see that it has finished the cold start. So now we are ready to test if the IP address uh, connection is available. So to do that, we just make a normal ping to the controller. We get the command prompt and uh, we say okay we would like to ping the controller you see that the controller is running and then we press return to so that we get it we can see that we get replies from the ping command 